Today I wanted to perform a piece that people have been telling me to learn and to play for literally over a decade, which makes me feel very, very old. But today I'm going to be finally playing Claire de Lune for you guys here on YouTube. Now when I was young, people would always tell me, you should learn Claire de Lune, learn Claire de Lune. But when I was little, I just saw the piece as being a slow, boring, quiet piece, and I wasn't interested in that. I only wanted to learn the really loud, very exciting pieces to play, and the loud, exciting pieces for people to listen to. So I didn't have any real interest in learning Claire de Lune. But recently, more people have been telling me you should learn Claire de Lune, play it on the pianos you review, do a video of your on it of, on your own piano. And so I looked, I listened to the piece and I was like, this song is beautiful. It's amazing. And it really, really is an absolutely beautiful piece. And I see now why people love it so much. It's in the key of D flat major, which for me has always been one of the most beautiful keys to write music in. D, uh, D flat major and G flat major and some of the other keys that have lots of flats as well as lots of sharps. Those keys, particularly D flat major to me, sound absolutely beautiful. And Claire de Lune really, really expresses that. The soft, gentle openness of the music and the really, really wonderful way that Debussy combined the melody in amongst the chords. It's just, it's an absolute masterpiece. It's a really wonderful piece to play. And another thing I love about the song is the way that on many pianos, particularly mine, is especially in the intro and in other parts of the piece, when you hold the pedal down and just play some notes, the piano just sings and you can hear all the sympathetic resonance and it opens up and it's just absolutely lovely. So those are some of the things that I really, really love about Claire de Lune. Now, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial video on this piece like I do with some of the others because it's a very, very long piece. I think it's about six or seven pages and doing a tutorial, a step-by-step, note-by-note thing would take a long time. So I'm just going to quickly talk about some of the things that make the piece challenging as well as make it very fun to play. And as far as the fun to play aspect is um, goes, the whole piece is just absolutely wonderful. It's relaxing, it's beautiful, it's so, so wonderful to play. I love the parts where it goes down into the low bass on the second page and you play the low E flat and then you come up here and play the melody chord run. It's so cool. That's one of my favorite parts in the whole piece and I love the arpeggiated section in the second half of the piece, which is going to be one of the more difficult parts of the piece is that arpeggiated part. The difficult part will be to make it sound very even and very consistent, but also make sure to keep it very, very quiet. Playing fast and delicate stuff on the piano while also keeping it quiet can be a bit difficult, but it also can be done. And when you do it correctly, it sounds absolutely wonderful in that piece. One more thing I wanted to discuss about Claire de Lune before I move on and actually play the piece for you guys is the duplet part of the piece. There's a number of different parts where it uses a little um, rhythmic, um, a little, I don't really know what to call it, but it's called a duplet. And basically it's kind of like an inverse of a triplet. And if you know how, say, a quarter note triplet works in uh, drums or in rhythm or whatever, you'll know that it's basically a polyrhythm. It's a three against two polyrhythm. And the way that works here is I'm just gonna play a little section of quarter note triplets. The right hand is gonna be playing the triplet part and the left hand is going to be playing the steady, the two side of it. So as you can hear, that's how it works. And the duplet is that, except it's flipped around. So you're not going to be focusing on the three side of it. You're going to be focusing on the two side of it, if that makes any sense. So basically, since this piece is in 9-8 time, you're thinking of each um, group of three as kind of that quarter note triplet. And then your um, other hand is going to be thinking of the, the, the two side of that a polyrhythm as being the duplet. So hopefully that makes sense. That's the best way I can think of explaining it. When I saw that in the piece, I had to go research duplets and figure out how they work. And then once I realized, I was like, oh, that's simple. It's just the opposite half of a uh, quarter note triplet rhythm. So the duplet side, I'm gonna be playing the duplet this time with my right hand and the triplet side with my left hand here. Ah, let me try that again. Let me see how, that, how does this work. There we go. Hear that? I'm playing three in my left hand and two in my right hand. That's the rhythm of the duplet. I just wanted to explain that to you because if any of you guys wanted to go learn the piece or something like that, the duplet might be a little bit confusing. So I wanted to mention that and how that works. And you'll hear that uh, from time to time in the music. And sometimes there's two sets of duplets that have one note tied, which can be a little bit tricky to understand. But the music is absolutely beautiful and the duplets really fit in there well and they make it sound open and slow all of a sudden. It's just really cool. So let me play Claire de Lune for you guys and I hope you enjoy it.
So hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing Claire de Lune being played on this piano. I think it sounds absolutely fantastic on probably most any piano that you play it on, but it really, really sounds great on this piano as well. Again, I love the sympathetic resonance and also just the harmony that's used in this piece is glorious and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a really, really wonderful piece and hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Like I said, people have been asking me for over 10 years to play Claire de Lune. I'm finally getting around to it. So hopefully for all of you guys out there who have been wanting me to play this piece for some of you who have probably been wanting me to play it for quite a long time, Hopefully you enjoyed hearing me play it on this piano, and hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of an introduction and explanation to some of the stuff that might be a little bit difficult in the piece if you wanted to learn it. Again, I'm not doing a tutorial on it, but I just wanted to kind of mention that to kind of make up for the fact that I'm not doing a tutorial video on it. I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the stuff that's really cool about the piece, some of the stuff I love, and some of the stuff that makes it a little bit difficult and challenging. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want, you can go check out some of my other videos. I've got lots of cool reviews, and I also on pianos and organs and keyboards and cool musical instruments. And I also have lots of performance videos on this piano. So if you've recently found my channel and you like the sound of this piano, you might want to go check out some of those performance videos. I play lots of cool Bach music and other music as well on this piano. So if you want to go check that out, you can. If you do that, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.